This video tells how to build a homopolar motor from the American Sterling Company Homopolar Motor Kit. Here's what's included in this kit. You get a four page instruction sheet, six feet of copper wire, three neodymium magnets, and four AA batteries just to make it easy for you. Make sure that you keep these magnets far away from any computer, laptop, or hard drive because they can ruin a hard drive in a hurry. When you're working with these particular magnets, either keep your fingers well clear or push them entirely between the magnets. That'll keep you from getting pinched. It's a good idea to put the magnets back in the box until you're ready for them. Now let's cut off a piece of copper wire to make our motor. That looks about right. Let's cut it right here. The basic idea is to bend your copper wire to approximately this shape. I like to start by bending the copper wire in half and then pinching it like this with the pliers. Make sure you get a good tight crimp. Now hold the copper wire as shown and bend both wires one in each direction. Now bend one wire down on each side and your homopolar motor is taking shape. Now get out a battery and put it down just like so to start measuring the height of the motor. Next you'll want to add a magnet to this battery to get the entire measure of the height that you need. Now bend both wires 90 degrees across the magnet from the middle point of the magnet. It's a good idea to check and see if you got it right and you can make any adjustments that are necessary. Now it's time to bend a small loop at the copper wire at the point where it will make contact with the magnet. You can do this by hand or use your pliers. The idea is to form a couple of small loops that almost but do not quite touch the magnet. If your copper wire loops are squeezing on the magnet, your engine will not run. So keep adjusting until you're pretty sure that you've got it right. When you think you're ready to go, put it all together and give it a try. Maybe, like this one, it won't work at first. But then you'll fiddle with it a little bit more, and it'll go just fine. Come on, little motor. You can do it. You can do it. Wonderful. I knew you could. Our homopolar motor kit includes enough copper to build loops for about six different homopolar motors. You can build hearts, you can build spirals, you can build anything you can think of. It's an amazing flexibility you can do with these motors and still have them work. You can download the printed instructions for this motor by visiting sterlingengine.com slash homopolar. So get out there and have some fun building your very own homopolar motor. And thanks for watching.